A mixer translates signals from one frequency to another. It takes a radio frequency, RF, input and adds or subtracts it from a local oscillator, LO, input to make an intermediate frequency, IF, output. Genesis can easily synthesize mixers. To start synthesis, go to New Item, Syntheses, and click on Mixer. We'll start with the factory default values. Now you can see the mixer definition window. There are 11 mixer types available. They can be grouped into passive diode mixers or active mixers, which use BJTs or FETs. For more information on mixer types, click on Type Help. You can click on a mixer to see specific information about that type, but we'll look at the general mixer type overview first. Here you can see the 11 mixer types available, whether that mixer type works for low or high frequencies, the allowed ratio of LO and RF frequencies. Transmission line mixers need the LO and RF frequencies to be close to each other. Other mixers can have LO and RF further apart. There's conversion gain, which is the difference in power between the RF and IF. Active mixers can have conversion gain. There's how much power the LO typically needs to drive the mixer. There's the ability of the mixer to suppress intermodulation distortion. There's simplicity, which is how simple the mixer design is. Simplicity includes less components, no DC supply, and no transformers. And there's how isolated LO, RF, and IF are from each other. In the notes section below, you can see specific information about what each definition means. Now, let's look at some specific examples. I'll start with the diode single-ended basic mixer. You can see a general schematic for the mixer type, a detailed description of the mixer, and even equations used to calculate the values. There's more information for each of the 11 mixer types. Here's the diode transformer double balanced mixer. Let's go back to the mixer definition window. You can set the frequency of the RF input, the frequency of the LO input, the frequency of the IF output, the power of the RF input, the power of the LO input, and the characteristic impedance of the system. The default RF input is 14 MHz, and the default LO input is 5 MHz. 14 MHz minus 5 MHz gives the IF output of 9 MHz. The IF frequency must be the summer difference of RF and LO. Genesis will warn you if the frequencies are not the sum or the difference. I'll leave everything at the default values for this example. Now click Apply to synthesize the mixer. Now you can see the mixer schematic, the RF spectrum, and the IF spectrum. We'll place markers on IF and on RF. Using the markers, you can calculate conversion loss. This mixer has 4.8 dBm of conversion loss. It also has spurious interference close to IF and close to RF. Let's switch to a different type. I'll look at the bipolar differential mixer. This is an active mixer, so it requires DC supply voltage. Click Apply to synthesize the new design. The markers stay in place, so you can calculate a 9.3 dBm conversion gain. I'll also place a marker on the LO. This lets you see that negative 42.2 dBm of LO power makes it into the RF input port. Let's look at another type. I'll switch to JFET Transformer Single Balanced. Single balanced mixers suppress either RF or LO. This type rejects spurious signals from LO. Now, I'll switch to the diode transformer double balanced.
Double balanced mixers reject spurious signals from RF and LO. The LO signal is completely cancelled in the RF port. Now we'll use sweeps to see how LO and RF power change IF output. Double click on both sweep plots to open them. Now you can see the RF sweep plot and the LO sweep plot. Press the Run Sweeps button to run both of the sweeps. Genesis will sweep different RF input power levels, and then different LO input power levels. Now you can see a plot of the RF power level over IF power and gain, as well as a plot of LO power level over IF power. You can see that IF power goes up with RF power, and that gain goes down when RF power goes up. On the LO plot, you can see the IF power plateaus around 6 dBm of LO power. Now let's look at mixer designs for higher frequencies. Genesis has two types of transmission line mixers. These allow higher frequencies and avoid the use of transformers in the design. The default RF frequency is 5 GHz, and the default LO frequency is 5.2 GHz, which gives you an IF frequency of 200 MHz. This design also includes a low-pass filter at 250 MHz. In the schematic, you can see the transmission lines and the low-pass filter. This branch line mixer has poor isolation, but it's small in size. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in on the plots. Now I'll place a marker on LO. LO power starts at 7 dBm and is 3.3 dBm at RF, which means it's only reduced by 3.6 dBm. Now I'll place markers on RF and IF. This mixer has a 7.8 dBm conversion loss. Let's switch to the other type of transmission line mixer, the diode rat race. This mixer has good isolation, but it's larger in size than the branch line. Now the LO at the RF input port is down to negative 23.4 dBm. Now that you know how to make informed choices of which of the 11 types to use, you can open up Genesis and synthesize your own mixers.